Hello, and welcome to another digital lab. Now, this one has one of my favorite apparatus in it. This is the Bandagraph generator. This was invented in 1920 when they first started playing with static electricity and electricity in gen general. And this is one of the first generators that actually produces a steady amount of electricity. Now, how it works is that this little comb down here um, creates <clears throat> a connection with this rubber band right here. Now this rubber band will steal electrons from this comb, transport them up, and then they'll all start to gather in this dome. Now, electrons, if you don't know how they work, they work kind of like little kids. When a bunch of them get in one area, they want to break out of that area. They want to get out any way possible. And because of this, we can um, make use of some unique things. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn it on and play with it. So, one of the first things that we're going to see is that it's starting to steal electrons. Now, in a little bit, there should be a little tiny snap, crackle, and pop. Snap, crackle, and pop. Now I want ice crystals. I think you might have to get a little closer for the snap, crack, and pop. So, <clears throat> the little snap, crackle, and pop is individual electrons breaking free of this dome right here. And they're jumping off of this dome at just about the speed of light. So they're breaking through the sound barrier, and when that comes together, that pretty much makes a little tiny thunderclap. But since electrons are super, super small, the... <clears throat> The lightning or the thunderclap that they make is super, super small as well. But we can do a little bit better. What we can do is we can use this rod right here to generate some real lightning, some real sparks. Can you see them? So, <clears throat> what this rod does is that it actually gives you a place for the <clears throat> electrons to jump out at. get consistent sparks. Now this is actually the same way that static electricity is generated all over the place. So you can actually try this at home by rubbing your feet across the carpet and then touching a metal object. <clears throat> all right, now we can actually make use of the static electricity and we can do some more demonstrations. Miss Kate is going to be our guinea pig. What she's gonna do is she's gonna step on my little step stool so that she's insulated. That means that none of the electrons that gather in her once she touches the dome will go back into the ground. All of them will stay inside of her. Is that now, a short joke? Yes. <laughs> we don't want you to short. I see what you did there. <laughs> now, she's gonna place one hand right here on the dome. And in her other hand, she has a bunch of little tiny dots. Now, when the static electricity starts building in these dots, because these are so small, they should start flying out of her hands once they're negatively charged. Now, like charges, um, they don't like to be next to each other. Just like the little kids in the small classroom, they wouldn't like to be next to each other. So if we put a bunch of little kids in this classroom, they would start trying to climb out the windows, start trying to go out the doors. They would get as far away from each other as possible. So that's what these little dots are going to do as well. And we should see some other interesting things happening as well. Are you sure? I don't know about this. You don't know about it? Are you starting to feel a little funny or fuzzy? I mean, I feel like that all the time. <laughs> Just give it a couple seconds. All right. So. <laughs> Was that static electricity or the air conditioner? I think that might have been the air conditioner. Daggone. Go ahead and move your hand around just a little tiny bit. Phenomenal cosmic power! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> it's like paper popcorn. It is. Oh, oh. That was a good one. So, as the static electricity starts to build in her, you can also look at her hair. Now, her hair is full of electrons, and because of that, they're going to try to get as far away from each other as possible, making all of her hair stick straight up and out. <clears throat> Now, if we actually put our hand close to it, since we are relatively positively charged compared to Miss Kate, then we will actually attract her hair because opposites tend to attract. attract. Great song. Hey, do you think this is how Einstein did his hair in the morning? He just, what he did was after he was done brushing his teeth, he put it in an electrical socket and zzz, zzz, yeah. I think this is a good look for me. All right, you ready to get off, Miss Kate? Sure. Okie doke. So we'll go ahead and turn this off, and right now she is negatively charged. So if we touch her, elbow bump, just like that, there's a little tiny static shock. <laughs> hey, let's have a really cool, fun science party. All right. Ready? No! It's a party! <laughs> the Vandegraaff pinata. <laughs> <laughs> Only we could make it do that with candy. That'd be phenomenal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My name is Mr. Malcolm. This was Miss Kate. And we're doing science experiments like this all the time at Discovery. So when we open back up, please feel free to come inside and explore all around the facility. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon.